गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग सो आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल फॉर द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एफ एम जी जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री वी आर गोइंग अबाउट माइक्रो बायोलॉजी मेनी ऑफ द माइक्रो बायोलॉजी क्वेश्चन आर डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन मेनी ऑफ द माइक्रो बायोलॉजी क्वेश्चन आर डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन एंड we'll see carefully first question i'll start with patient started on what highly active anti retroviral therapy for hiv what is used to monitor the efficacy of the treatment see efficacy of the treatment prognosis previously we used cd4 count previously we used cd4 count to monitor the response to the treatment but now it is changed we are using viral load what is viral load number of rna copies very good uh, consciencing per ml of blood and p24 antigen hiv1 antibody these are all helping in diagnosis of the disease these are all helping in the diagnosis of the disease okay next question a patient visited africa and died of a disease autopsy shows intranuclear torus bodies which vaccine stain could have prevented the disease torus body is nothing but intranuclear inclusion body specially seen in yellow fever virus in yellow fever yellow fever produces torus bodies okay it is not in india yellow fever not reported from india it's a flavi viral disease it's a flavi viral disease okay what is the vaccine strain vaccine strain for yellow fever virus is vaccine strain for yellow fever virus is 17d important you should know about all vaccine strains sa141412 and nakayama strain both for japanese encephalitis virus both are for japanese encephalitis virus jarelin for mumps you should know about all other vaccine strains it is important you should learn about all vaccine strains it's important mumps next is a truck driver admitted with cough and breathlessness histopathological examination revealed septate ifa with 45 angle branching shown in the image identify the pathogen see the image you have septate ifa and v shape branching acute angle branching 45 degree or acute angle branching with septate ifa acute angle branching 45 degree septate ifa it is suggestive of you can go for yes yes dr vinith uh, it is aspergillus because rhizopus mucor absidi all comes under zygomycetes group they have a septate ifa with vertical branching 90 degree branching rhizopus is having root like structure mucor there is no root mucor there is no rhizopus no rhizoids all other three people belong to zygomycetes so it's a case of aspergillus next is a farmer came with cauliflower like growth in foot biopsy shows copper penny bodies or sclerotic bodies that's all that's a clue 
copper penny bodies and sclerotic bodies seen in which disease it is pathognomonic diagnostic of chromoblastomycosis and the copper penny bodies are otherwise called muriform bodies and other name medler bodies muriform bodies or medler bodies sporotrichosis you can get asteroid bodies mycetoma you can get uh, granules colored granules especially fungal black or white cutaneous blastomycosis it form figure of eight appearance figure of eight appearance figure of eight appearance okay next is a patient presented with curdy white vaginal discharge that's all wherever the word curdy white vaginal discharge comes you come to conclusion choose the correct medium used to identify the species of this pathogen identify the species of the pathogen that is important this is nothing but vaginal candidiasis it is nothing but vaginal candidiasis medium used to identify candida species see sabrodexos agar is a universal medium universal fungal medium bird seed agar we are specifically using for cryptococcus corn meal agar to demonstrate chlamydospores and if you want to identify the species there is a special medium called candida chrome agar different species produces different colors different species produces different colors we call it as candida chrome agar okay candida chrome agar next is a 28 year old lady admitted with fever nausea anorexia for two months duration surface antigen positive that indicates presence of infection core antibody igm positive disease present that also acute anti hcv negative hepatitis c negative what is the diagnosis it's a direct case definitely we have a question on hepatitis it is acute hepatitis b infection because chronic hepatitis b how they look like hepatitis b surface antigen present plus anti hbc IgG positive then we call it as chronic hepatitis B it is a case of acute hepatitis B no role of hepatitis C here yes IgG yes Chani Chani Purwar ok next is what is false about pseudomembranous qualities of clostridiitis difficile it forms pseudomembrane the pseudomembrane is toxin mediated there are two type of toxin toxin a toxin b it's the right statement they want a false statement pseudomembrane contains leukocytes fibrins and cellular debris yes and latest treatment is fidaxomycin igm is not diagnostic what igm they mentioned igm against toxin igm against organism not specific and best method to diagnose is demonstration of toxin or demonstration of toxin gene 
by PCR, toxin by ELISA. Demonstration of toxin by ELISA or demonstration of toxin gene by PCR, either one. Yeah, these are the best method to diagnose, not IgM. Culture also good. We have a medium called CCFA medium. Cycloserine, cefoxetin, tractose agar. We have a medium. It's a very good medium. So false statement about pseudomembranous qualities. Plasteroid is diffusal is IgM is diagnostic. No, IgM is not diagnostic. We don't know which IgM. Next is. A soldier presented with fever, myalgia, rash in the body, sparing palm and soul. Five others in the troop also affected. So it's outbreak. And history of exposure to lies. That's, that's a clue. Soldiers, outbreak, lies, rash. This is called lies present, louse bond disease. Okay. So among the agent which is louse bond is rickets a prosaki it causes epidemic typhus rickets a typhi vector is rat flea rickets a acari vector is mite rickets a pox and conori vector is tick so if you know the vector Easily you can identify. Here the vector is louse. So louse bond disease, rash, outbreak. You can think of epidemic typhus caused by rickets here. Prosecchi. Yes, yes, Stanley Potter, Alok Kumar. Beautifully people answering. Cool. Yes. Next is. Diabetic patient has rhinitis, facial swelling. Very important. Diabetic patient, uncontrolled diabetes. And it is facial swelling. Biopsy showed aseptate IFA with irregular abduce branching. Aseptate IFA with irregular branching. Drug of choice. What is the condition called? This condition is called, especially diabetic ketoacidosis. You can get aseptate IFA. Ninety degree vertical branching. Suggestive of mucormycosis it's a case of mucormycosis mucormycosis what is the drug of choice for mucormycosis yes ritesh kumar perfect then also yes the drug of choice for mucormycosis you can go for amphotericin b best drug Surgical management with amphotericin B is the best treatment for mucormycosis. Next is microfilariae with sheathed tail and two nucleus in the tail tip. See carefully here. This is the microfilariae. Three people are sheathed. We call it as LBW. L full, full of nuclei is lower lower. Burgia two nuclei, no nuclei. W waste. Remember W waste. No, nil. L full W nil. And other people, Manzanella and Oncocerca, no sheath, no nuclei. Manzanella, Oncocerca, no sheath, no nuclei. Easy to remember. You need to know this. Just re recollect the theory part. So sheathed people. Sheath. L, B, W, sheath. I will remove this. Two nuclei is Burgia mana. Because lova lova full of nuclei. Uchuria nil. No nuclei. Lova lova and nil. Next is. Choose the correct mechanism of action of botulinum toxin. You should know about the important mechanism of action of many toxins. Some toxins are acting on cyclic AMP. Some toxins are acting on uh, 
protein synthesis some toxins are acting on as as a neurotoxins like that so it inhibit the release of acetylcholine in the presynaptic area inhibit the release of acetylcholine in the presynaptic area which leads to what paralysis flaccid paralysis which leads to flaccid paralysis Tetanus inhibits the release of tetanospasmin. Inhibit the release of GABA and glycine. Yes, yes, Tane Podar. Perfect. Perfect. Many people are answering beautifully. Highly. We need everybody's answering. Swaraj. Good. Okay. Tetanospasmin. Inhibit the release of GABA and glycine. It leads to spastic paralysis it leads to spastic paralysis one causes placid paralysis another one causes spastic paralysis both acting on presynaptic one inhibit the release of acetylcholine the tetanus inhibit the release of GABA and glycine which are called inhibitory neurotransmitters Next is, a patient admitted with fever, headache, vomiting, altered sensorium with neck rigidity. What else you want? One line I can give the diagnosis, a case of meningitis. Where there is neck rigidity, rigidity altered sensorium, headache, vomiting, go for meningitis. CSF analysis shows slight decrease in glucose, increase in protein, maybe bacterial. But slight they say. Microscopy lymphocytes because bacterial 90% it is polymorphonuclear. But see the coagulum. The CSF shown in the image. Beautiful. People already answered. What is the co coagulum called? Cobweb coagulum. Cobweb coagulum is diagnostic of tubercular meningitis because pyogenic meningitis you can get polymorphonuclear cells viral meningitis protein and uh, glucose normal lymphocytes present so tubercular meningitis mild decrease in uh, glucose mild increase in protein and lymphocytes cobweb coagulum tubercular meningitis very good tubercular meningitis Next is MDR TB refers to resistant to. It's a very simple direct question. If you know the definition, you can answer. When mycobacterium tuberculosis is resistant to two drugs, irrespective of any other first line drug, irrespective of any other first line drug, if it is yes, beautifully answered, people shooting, resistant to isoniazid acid and rifampicin, then it is called MDR TB irrespective of any other first line drug if it is resistant to isoniazid and rifampicin then we call it as mdr tb okay mdr tb next is next you can learn what is xdr tb xdr tb nothing but mdr tb and resistant to fluoroquinolones it's called pre xdr fluoroquinolones and latest drugs bedaquiline everything called XDR TB. Okay, next is female came with clinical condition as shown in the image. See some uh, genital warts, anal warts. Okay, right. Anorectal warts. Histopathological examination shows she is having high risk for squamous cell atypia, which type is responsible for this condition so there is no monodrug resistant my dear Tane Podar has a question there is monodrug resistant we are not in use we use only multi-drug resistant MDRTB 
XDRTB, pre-XDRTB. These are the standard definitions for tuberculosis. Other bacteria are resistant to one drug, we call it as monoresistance like that. And we are not bothering about monoresistance in uh, MDR in tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, we are concentrating MDRTB, XDRTB. Okay, this is for Dr. Tane Podor. Next is, okay, listen to me carefully. This is anorectal wart. Anorectal wart, you can see in 6 and 11. 6 and 11 anorectal warts. 16 and 18 causes human cervical cancer. Human cervical cancer. Yes, beautifully people answered. Swaraj, Fitora, Manithi. Next is, a clinician clinically diagnosed a case of brucellosis and ordered standard agglutination test for brucellosis. It showed negative. So, it showed negative. After serial dilution, it become positive. How it happens? Choose the correct cause of this condition. Normally, the antibody will be high. So, test will be negative. Dilution of serum, dilution of serum, dilution of serum. When the antibodies or antigen antibodies are optimum concentration, they form lattice, test become positive. So, the first the test is negative due to prozone phenomenon. It is due to prozone phenomenon. How to overcome prozone phenomenon? Serial dilution. So, two diseases, syphilis and brucellosis, if the test is negative, don't give the report. Dilute the serum. After dilution, if all are negative, then release the result. Okay, because they may exhibit prozone phenomenon. Sometimes after dilution, it becomes positive. Next is, a child admitted with fever, rash, begins behind the ears, very important. Conjectivitis, coryza, cough and complex part. They give all the clinical picture. Sometimes they give very easy. Conjectivitis, cough, complex part, rash. Fever with rash itself sufficient to suspect measles. But they give complex part, diagnostic of measles. But they ask question very simply, what about the measles? Is it RNA virus or DNA virus? RNA virus, very good. Single strand or double standard? Single standard RNA virus. So, I will remove these two choices. Now, the game starts. Is it enveloped or non-enveloped? It comes under paramyxoviridae, measles. It is enveloped RNA virus. Yes. It is enveloped RNA viruses. Single standard. It is single standard enveloped RNA viruses. Okay. Measles. It's a case of measles. They are not asking directly measles. They ask some point related to measles. Next is. Patient presents with painless indurated ulcer on his penis. Okay, painless indurated ulcer on his penis with non-tender lymphadenopathy. Motility of the organism best visualized by. First, you, you need to diagnose. This is another type of question. First, clinically you need to diagnose. Then you need to answer micro, microbiologically. So, medicine and microbiology combination. Painless indurated ulcer is syphilis. It is caused by trypanema pallidum. Beautifully people answered. Very good. Trypanema pallidum. Trypanema pallidum. Okay. Trypanema pallidum. How to demonstrate the motility? It exhibits a motility called corkscrew motility. How to demonstrate the motility? We can demonstrate the motility with by dark field microscope. Motility of the spirochetes, we can demonstrate with the dark field microscope. We, it, we can demonstrate corkscrew motility of trypanoma pallidum. So, first you need to identify it's a case of syphilis, second trypanoma pallidum, third corkscrew motility. Very good, Swaraj, Ritesh, Nagri. Next is. 
culture from a patient of 70% burns obligate aerobe most common cause of burns agent infection in burns agent if you know this we can answer shows positive test for this image this test is called oxidase test this oxidase positive oxidase negative pathogen which is oxidase positive most common agent causing burns wound infection is very good dragil alok chanai it is pseudomonas aeruginosa it is pseudomonas aeruginosa very important pseudomonas aeruginosa oxidase positive agent most common cause of burns wound infection it's aerobe next is hair perforation test is positive in there is a test used in uh, dermatology to differentiate the fungus hair perforation test positive for trichophyton mentographite negative for trichophyton rubrum hair perforation test positive for mentographite negative for so positive for mentographite negative for rubrum hair perforation test to differentiate these two people to differentiate these two people next is patient develops sudden onset of fever headache chills weakness swollen and tender painful lymph nodes with blackish discoloration of the peripheral lymph that's all clinician suspected bacterial etiology with rat is the reservoir what is the condition now the disease is not there but you should know painful lymphadenopathy bubo black discoloration the death is called black death it's a pandemic disease once upon a time is plague it is plague caused by yersinia pestis plague caused by yersinia pestis what is the correct vector for this condition you should know all vectors is xenopsilla chiopsis triatom for Trypanosoma cruzi, Aedes for Aedes aegypti dengue, dengue yellow fever, many things. Simulium fly for Oncocerca valvulus, it is called Simulium fly or black fly, Oncocerca valvulus. It is a case of plague, yes, Tane Bodor, it is a plague case. After reading the question itself, it should come to your mind. It's plague. Immediately, you should remember important points related to plague. Xenopsilla chopsis, rat is the reservoir. That's called rat flea. We call this as rat flea. A pregnant woman came in contact with varicella patient. Okay. Her antibody he tested for varicella zoster was negative. She is not at all exposed. She is not at all exposed to varicella. So what does it mean? She is susceptible to zoster? No, nobody gets zoster first. Zoster is nothing but reactivation. She is not immune to zoster or chicken pox. She is may develop chicken pox. Once she develop chicken pox, later she become she may develop uh, zoster. So she is susceptible to chicken pox, not zoster. Because she is zero negative. Very good. B. B is the correct answer. Next is there is a blood spill in operation theater. Many times the question they asked, choose the correct agent used to clean the blood spill. So the question is how to manage spillage, 
body fluid or blood spillage so wherever the blood spillage best method to manage is hypochlorite beautifully people answered shooting the shooting the answer is perfect it is hypochlorite you need to you should use hypochlorite you need to use hypochlorite sodium hypochlorite or calcium hypochlorite or bleaching powder bleach you call it as bleach to manage the blood spills to manage the blood spills next is a male present with following finding as shown in the image what is the diagnosis see milky white discharge that's a point milky white discharge milky white discharge milky white discharge is nothing but gonorrhea gonococci because herpes syphilis these people produces ulcers ulcers this is called urethritis gonococcal urethritis milky white discharge dysuria pain everything okay next is which of the following is vector for zika virus which of the following is the vector for zika virus okay vector for zika virus zika virus the vector is direct question if you know you can answer very good a a is aegypti it causes microcephaly phlebotomus is the vector for phlebotomus sand fly is the vector for leishmania Culex is the vector for Japanese encephalitis virus. Many filariasis. Anaphylis is a vector for Plasmodium malaria. You should know about all the vectors. Okay. Yes, Siddharth. Siddharth got beautifully answered. Okay. Other species also. Very good. Next is. If you know the question answer, it take few minutes to answer. Man from tribal area of Jharkhand reports with fever for last three days. Peripheral blood is collected and stained with gymsa. Diagnosis as malaria made. Smear shown in the figure in the image. What is the likely cause? See the image. What you are going to see in the image? What you are going to see in the image? You can see. banana or boat shape gametocyte banana or boat shape gametocyte banana or boat shape gametocyte which is diagnostic of plasmodium falciparum s chane swaraj put the banana picture also <laughs> banana or boat shape this is important point banana and boat shape gametocyte suggestive of plasmodium falciparum there is one more called acol i think uh, some question is there i made one question with acol also that i will show you plasmodium next is 12 year old boy presents with vomiting within 3 hours of conception of food at party what is the likely causative agent see after party 1 to 6 hours if there is vomiting it is due to ingestion of preformed toxin ingestion of preformed toxin immediately you should think of two people many people answered immediately you should think of two people one is called staphylococcus enterotoxin another one is bacillus cereus
one is bacillus cereus another one is staphylococcus enterotoxin you should remember these two people first see carefully so what is the choice here preformed toxin you can see in staphylococcus aureus enterotoxin staphylococcus enterotoxin produces preformed toxin vomiting vomiting is the predominant predominant feature yes it does got preformed toxin staphylococcus aureus next is HIV positive patient with CD4 count of 300, mucosal lesions as mouth shown in the figure. See, curdy white material. Okay, it's called oral thrush. We call it as oral thrush. Shown in the figure on microscopy, budding yeast and soda ife. That's the diagnostic. That's all. No need to break your head. They themselves give the diagnosis. Budding yeast with pseudo ife is nothing but oral thrush, oral candidiasis. Candidiasis, perfect. Yes, oropharyngeal candidiasis, perfect. Jitan. Is this doc? Beautiful people answering. I'm so happy. So be, after reading the question, you need to shoot the answer. You need to wait for thinking. Where there the budding yeast and pseudo ife comes. Game over. Next is super antigens not produced by which of the following? Super antigens not produced by which of the following? So super antigens are antigen directly attached to T cell receptor of CD4 cell. Variable beta side chain of the T cell receptor. They, they attach. Directly they attach. It is produced by many people. Streptococcus pyogenes yes, produces Clostridium puffingens toxin, Staphylococcus aureus toxin, Mycoplasma pneumonia toxin, Mycoplasma pneumonia toxin. Okay. These toxins, Yersinia toxin. Yersinia toxin. All these people are super antigens. Except this it will not produce any super antigen staphylococcus epidermidis it will not produce any super antigens staphylococcus epidermidis it, it will not produce any super antigens next is which of the following is a category a bioterrorism agent so you should know about all Category A, B, C, bioterrorism agent example. Sometimes, sometimes you may get a question. Category A or you can get anthrax, botulinum, plague, tularemia, smallpox, Ebola, Dengue. These are all example for category A. These are all example for category A. Okay, these are all example for bioterrorism category A. So bacillus anthracis. Bacillus anthracis is category A bioterrorism agent. Siddharth asks a question, COVID-19 not yet assigned as bioterrorism agent. Please remember, SARS and MERS is category C. But SARS CO2 not yet assigned not yet assigned no confusion my dear not yet assigned 
they yet to be assigned they never think it's a bioterrorism agent some theories are there not yet proved so it is not a bioterrorism agent as of now as of now it is not a bioterrorism agent very good question because the doubt, doubt will commonly occur no confusion with sars and sars cov2 sars or mers comes under category c but it is not category any category even apart from the class whenever you have the doubt you can contact us you can contact me apart from uh, the doubt you can contact us in telegram our groups are there dams e medicos group is there you can tag me or micro magics group is there you can tag me okay you can contact me at any a uh, contact us dams at any time any doubt okay right which of the following help bacterial addition to the cells direct question but you should know the bacterial anatomy you should know the bacterial anatomy in the bacterial anatomy listen to me carefully which structure helping in attachment which structure helping in attachment see carefully fimbria attachment with cell surface lipopolysaccharide act as endotoxin and also o antigen mesosomes for respiration mesosomes for respiration and cytoplasmic membrane and cytoplasmic membrane for transportation influx of nutrients efflux of toxic metabolites like that okay influx of and efflux of materials next is the selective medium for e coli o157 h7 it is caused by enterohemorrhagic e coli what is the selective medium listen to me carefully very interesting xld medium for salmonella shigella TCBS for Vibrio, Thayer Martin for Gonococci or Meningococci Nigeria, mainly Gonococci, and there is a medium called Meconkey Sorbitol Agar for O157 H7. You should know about all selective mediums. It produces colorless colonies. why colorless colonies there is no sorbitol fermentation no sorbitol fermentation there is no sorbitol fermentation so it produces colorless colonies it is a important medium to diagnose o157 h7 mekanki sorbitol agar all e coli produces pink colonies except this fellow except o157 h7 yes after seeing the egg itself you can answer which of the following is commonly soil transmitted helminthic infection in india characterized by eggs in stool as shown in the figure yes 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 swaraj Klebsiella produces pink color, pink colony. See barrel shape egg. Beautifully, people answering. Barrel shape egg with two mucus plugs. Barrel shape egg with two mucus plugs. Suggestive of beautiful answer is A. Trichuris. Very good. Trichuris trichura. Barrel shape egg. Trichuris trichura. With mucus plugs. You should know about all. parasitic eggs how to identify it will help you to answer many of the things next is antimicrobial property of bleaching powder is due to bleaching powder it's very important antimicrobial agent i mean uh, disinfection it is mainly due to hypochlorous acid
it mainly due to hypochlorite not chloroform or chlorine or h plus hypochlorous if it is a liquid form we call it as sodium hypochlorite if it is a powder form we call it as calcium hypochlorite calcium hypochlorite is powder form sodium is liquid form next is erythritis in male not caused by check of erythritis there is a famous mnemonic c hut chlamydia trichomatis most common cause of non gonococcal erythritis herpes urea plasma trichomonas these people causes non gonococcal erythritis and very common erythritis caused by gonococcus because erythritis were classifying into two non gonococcal and gonococcal non gonococcal by these people right so chlamydia causes trichomonas causes hemophilus decrey causes painful ulcers it produces painful ulcers very good i'm seeing the chat box i'm much excited okay some of the questions uh, are previously asked to questions also don't worry so nicely people answering great rogel shay kritesh yes alok it's called chancroid painful chancroid next is which of the following is most likely acquired by traumatic inoculation traumatic inoculation by prick traumatic inoculation blastomyces is inhalation all systemic inhalation coccidioides paracoccidioides inhalation all systemic inhalation except subcutaneous all subcutaneous mycetoma chromoblastomycosis sporothrix by local inoculation local inoculation local inoculation okay cigar shape yeast yes swaraj you need to remember all other points florid shape asteroid bodies many things you remember many things you should remember which of the following is not true about japanese encephalitis japanese encephalitis pig or amplified host correct transmitted by culex mosquito vaccination of pig can control the transmission because they are amplifier host and human or the reservoir is wrong statement reservoir is birds human is the dead end host fantastic swaraj human is the dead end host accidental host accidental as well as dead end host human no human to human or human to mosquito transmission no human to human or human to mosquito transmission next is in renal transplant recipient which is likely organism causing reactivation of disease within 1 to 4 months after surgery any renal transplant any renal transplant yes added birds you are perfect siddharth okay previous question nicely he answered listen 1 to 6 months is cytomegalovirus if it is more than 6 months there is a virus called bk virus polyoma virus there is a bk virus or is called polyoma virus polyoma virus bk virus okay polyoma virus fantastic cytomegalovirus 1 to 6 month epstein barr virus causes infectious mononucleosis kissing disease where is the loss host virus causes chicken pox 
and shingles okay any renal transplant patient that is a clue you can think of cytomegalovirus 1 to 6 months more than 6 month bk virus it's a polyoma virus next is a child develops septic shock following meningitis on examination the child has petechial rash on shown in the image see typical petechial rash which are the following gram negative diplococci petechial rash septicemia meningitis what else comes to your mind there is a famous organism called Neisseria meningitides. Neisseria meningitides is Ragil. Okay. Neisseria meningitides. Petechial hemorrhage, rash with septic shock. We call it as Waterhouse Friction Syndrome. We call this as Waterhouse Friction Syndrome. Waterhouse Friction Syndrome. Got it? Waterhouse friction syndrome. Next is flask shape uh, also direct question. It takes fraction of second to answer. If you know you can answer, otherwise you cannot. If you already studied, uploaded, easily you can download. Flask shape ulcer in the intestine caused by bacillary dysentery amoebic dysentery leads to submucosal spread beautifully people answering entamoeba histolytica it produces typical flask shape ulcer and amoebic liver abscess that's called ancovisospus these are the key points next is which of the following culture medium used for legionella if you know you can answer you should know about all selective mediums. Please go and read all selective mediums. It's available in my group. I have posted all selective medium in one chart. Spend half an hour. Read it. One question in your packet. Confidently you say, microbiology, one question is with me. Be smart. Don't try to read everything. Read smart. Where they are asking question, you concentrate. Legionella is B C Y E agar. Very good. Buffer, charcoal, yeast extract, agar. Mechanic agar for gram negatives. Bird porker agar. Sometimes you are using it for staff. Sabrodexos agar for fungus. You should know about all important selective mediums. Next is Legionella, buffer, charcoal, yeast extract, agar. We are using it for two people. One is Legionella. One is Legionella. Another one is Nocardia. Legionella and Nocardia. Next is. Special strain used for Cryptococcus is. Special strain used for Cryptococcus is. You must know. Zeal Nielsen stain for acid first bacteria, gram stain for bacteria, not a special stain bacteria, it's a differential stain. Malachite green, we are using it in Zeal Nielsen stain. It's a counter stain in Zeal Nielsen stain. And a specific stain for Cryptococcus is Musicormin stain. Musicormin stain. There's a specific stain is music or mint stain. Exclusive for cryptococcus. Music or mint stain is exclusive for cryptococcus. Yes, India ink stain is negative stain. Yes, Tani Podar, this is a positive stain. Demonstration of capsule. Where India ink, you are a good, good question. India ink or nigrosin stain we call it as negative stain. Only the background will take the stain, not the capsule. We call it as negative stain. So capsule demonstrated by two methods. One is negative stain, India ink or nigrosin. Another one is positive stain, music or mint stain. Positive stain, music or mint stain. Negative stain, India ink or nigrosin stain. 
all three are there for cryptococcus all three are there for cryptococcus next is a 36 year old male patient complains of cough cold fever his sputum is rusty and negative for tb sputum negative for tb he has history of travel to china a little tough question and had consumed crab see cough fever pneumonia and eating crab what is the diagnosis eating crab what is it very good paragonimus vestermani it is called oriental lung flu and the intermediate host is crab for facial aquatic and facial is busky it is plant aquatic plant intermediate host ready no intermediate host and pneumonia caused by paragonimus vestermani because it's a lung fluke it is a lung fluke crayfish very good crayfish or crab crab or crayfish yes swaraj perfect next is microbiological test for diagnosing leptospira infection is leptospira infection is the gold standard test for leptospira is microscopic agglutination test we shortly call mat test where cold agglutinin test for mycoplasma standard agglutination test we are using it for brusilla and microscopic agglutination test or mat test we are using it for leptospira we are using it for leptospira wheels disease swamp fever mud fever rat fever rain fever andaman fever lot of names are there don't worry 100 names are there it's called 100 named disease 100 named disease yes medium is emjh medium you can talk many things emjh fletchers course of medium yes so raj people perfect disc diffusion method is also known as disc diffusion method is also known as we call it as kirby boyer method vdrl for syphilis dark field microscopy also we are syphilis we can use or or any other uh, thin organisms kirby boyer method is nothing but disc diffusion method yes amrita amrita temple perfect ritesh ragil dinger ring you can see in emjh medium you are going very depth swaraj cool i'm so happy next is rubella virus belongs to which family direct question rubella virus belong to which family rubella virus belongs to toga viridae direct question we know you can answer the coronavirus for example it contains polio coxaki echo virus hepatitis a virus these are all belongs to uh, picorna viridae orthomyxa virus example influenza orthomyxa virus example influenza thank you next is a six year old boy is having symptoms of fever with chills cough rapid breathing and chest pain culture from sample shows gram positive cocci identify the organism from the image if you see the image gram positive diplococci gram positive diplococci gram positive diplococci these two are out and staphylococcus aureus is cluster Staphylococcus aureus is cluster. So, gram positive diplococci, vote for streptococcus pneumoniae. Vote for streptococcus pneumoniae. Vote 
code for streptococcus pneumoniae. Next is diagnostic test for neurosyphilis. Diagnostic test for neurosyphilis. Neurosyphilis, the best test we can go for VD oral test. Comparing with all other tests, Wilflex is not for syphilis, RPR not for CSF, not used for CSF because of poor sensitivity specificity, TPA little outdated test. So diagnostic test for neurosyphilis, we can go for this one. Okay, and identify the condition shown in the image. Identify the condition shown in the image here. What is it? See carefully here. Unilateral. Unilateral. Multiple stages. This is called it's a painful condition. Single dermatome presentation. Single dermatome presentation. We call it as herpes zoster. Chicken pox means it is trunk and full body. Herpes zoster, single dermatome. Single dermatome. Okay. Yes. Now the time is 8 o'clock. We have seen almost uh, uh, 48 questions. Two more we will see. 50 questions we planned. Okay. Two more. Is exceeding time for 5 minutes. No problem. True about congenital rubella syndrome is. We will see 50 questions. Okay. 48 we completed. True about triad of congenital rubella syndrome. Congenital rubella syndrome, you remember CCC, cardiac defect, cochlear defect and uh, congenital cataract. Cataract, deafness and patent ductus arteriosus is perfect. Patent ductus arteriosus, cataract and deafness. Chorioretinitis and all seen in toxoplasma. Hepatosplenomegaly, deafness, you can see in CMB, many other conditions, mental retardation. Okay. And last question, beautifully answering. Patient is having gastrointestinal symptoms such as pain, abdomen, distension, bloody and mucous diarrhea. Bloody and mucous diarrhea and tenesmus with rectal prolapse. Rectal prolapse. Children with rectal prolapse. Full microscopy demonstrated barrel shape egg. You know that. You already know. Last question is very easy question. You can easily answer. Barrel shape egg. Barrel shape egg with two mucus plugs and causes rectal prolapse. Rectal prolapse, barrel shape egg, rectal prolapse. What for treacherous treachery? Entrobis vermicularis, it won't produce rectal prolapse, it causes anal pruritis. And egg is what egg? Camphylobacter never produces egg. Jadia never produces egg. They produce trophozoite and cyst. Entrobis egg is called kidney shape. Entrobis egg is called kidney shape. Answer is D. So we have completed 50 important questions a period of one hour, one hour, four minutes. Hope you all people enjoyed and you refreshed. I am not making it general microbiology, immunology like that because exam they will not ask. Typically exam pattern jumbled one from parasitology, one from immunology, one from virology like that the same way. Hope you all enjoyed. Okay. So with this, I'm closing the session. Thank you very much. God bless you. All the best to get through your FMG. Thank you all. With this I am signing off.